Hey guys, welcome to setting up your Weeble desktop for options trading with TJ the Goat. I'm TJ. First things first, when you pull up your Weeble desktop, a lot of you will probably see a lot of all of this and wonder what you're looking at if you're new to trading. Um, we have some time and sales, some order books, your trade book, and all the positions and orders that you have. It can be a little bit much, but we're going to condense all this down so it's easy to read, easy to do, and easy to grab your orders quickly with a stop loss and take profit order already in place before you begin. So starting off, we're going to go down here to settings, hit the trade button, and come down here to the default options order button and make sure this is set for a limit order, one, time and force for the day, and make sure the stop loss and take profit are checked. You can set these automatically for your 10%, 20%, and this is your two to one risk reward and the automatic orders. Once you're done with that, we're gonna go right back to stocks and go to whichever watch list you prefer and condense anything you don't need. Like I don't need this order book because I don't have level two data subscribed right now. So we'll remove that, we'll remove NOII, I don't use it, time and sales, remove it, volume analysis, remove it. All of this I just minimize or remove. I tend to remove it just because I don't use them. And we'll come all the way down to quotes. And I do prefer to use quotes because it does help me see things a little better. So now once you've got just down to this, spy's coming up. So we're going to be seeing a bounce. Puts might not be great, but I'm going to look at some puts still. So I'm going to go to the options tab, go to puts, and make sure to expand my view to about 20. And we're going to take a look at the 398 put expiring today. Now I'm going to add this to the watch list that I currently have here and you'll see it enters right here. Now if I move this over, you can see January 18th put for SPY, the 398 strike is right there. Now looking at SPY here, this is the SPY chart. This is exactly what SPY is currently doing. Now if I click here, I'm going to pull up the chart for what the price of this contract is doing. So this was recently as high as $3.15 and they're currently at $2.54. If I want to place an order, I like to right click create new order and down here you'll have your order entry. If you manage to remove or minimize this, this becomes a pop up instead. But if you leave it down here, it's actually pretty convenient. So we've got our limit, our limit price order, our stop loss order, and our take profit order all in one go. Now, if you didn't hit that first step and adjust your settings, you'll probably only see the single option where you can just buy one and you can't enter your stop loss and take profit order. So make sure you adjust those settings. So we're going to go back to the first triggered stop. And let's just say, since we're trading, up there, I want to do it for $2.40 is what I'd be willing to enter this contract for. My stop loss is automatically adjusted. That would be $2.16 for 10% loss. And for 20% gains, we'd be selling for $2.88. Hit place order, confirm your order, and then it brings up all these wonderful sliders for you to manually adjust those take profits and stop loss orders if you'd like, even including your open limit order. So now that would be a $3.17 take profit, which is approximately 32% profit. Stop loss, you could adjust that down as well as adjust your entry down. And now I could enter at $1.90, and this will do all the math for you if you're not a math whiz. All right, now we can see $1.71 would be 10% stop loss if we entered this contract at $1.90. No, no extra thoughts needed, perfectly clear. Now, when you do enter a position, instead of it saying buy one, it'll say POS one, position one, where you have however many orders or contracts that you purchased. And from there, you can also do a slide on these take profits and stop losses, but 
the position order will be set in stone based on your purchase price. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below and have a wonderful rest of your trading day. Thank you.